Good morning and welcome to Life Daily with Dawn. We're continuing our All Systems Go video series and we are looking at the eight uh, star systems, which um, are is the second system set of the three system sets with eight systems each. And the star systems are all about your soul's truth and radiance. They're about the essential journey that you have made in this life and taking all of that, all of your experience and using it as a place to really, really begin to move forward powerfully in your life. It's about a reconnection to your essential journey and the life you are at your core. You are a dynamic and sustainable system. And all of these life systems or solar systems support you in coming to life and living in full expression. So today we're looking at the dream map system to connect to your essential journey. The eight momentum action pathways that I'm gonna be sharing with you today are all about radiant expansion, daring radiant expansion and manifestation. That is a dream is an acronym for daring radiant expansion and manifestation. So today we're looking about uh, looking um, uh, looking at ways that we can uh, in a very daring way expand radiantly from within and begin to manifest the kind of dreams for our lives that we've always had and that many of us perhaps have begun to put on the back burner or given up on altogether and I'm here to tell you it's not too late it's not too late I remember vividly it was I was it was my 30th birthday I was so depressed on my 30th birthday for some reason and um, I just gave up on everything I decided it was useless I would never have in this life any you know any and there were many good things in my life by the way at that point but um, I, I made this sort of like internal decision that you know everything was over and yet so much opened up and then uh, as I began to just realize that no there was something within me that was worth cultivating that was beautiful and precious and I decided you know just that little teeny part that I I saw at that point that I was going to care for it and from that point everything good in my life has unfolded and all of the dreams that I had um, no longer feel impossible most of them have not come to full fruition and yet I feel them more present with me day by day and so th therefore my life I am more alive and uh, enjoying my life so the dream map system let's look at the eight momentum action pathways number one embrace and embody faith hope and love Number two, identify the dream you want to bring to life and through which you wish to live in full expression. Number three, connect to your heart's deep desire. Number four, create an I am statement. Number five, know the root of your desire. Number six, explore what specific desired outcome would offer evidence of your radiant realization in terms of this state of being. And number seven, consider daily, weekly, and monthly connection practices. And number eight, list 21 action possibilities. I love this one, it's so practical. And so um, I don't have a lot of time to go into depth today, which many of you are probably like, yay, many of you, all two or three of you that watch it, but whatever, um, you know, at some point that I'm gonna share this more broadly. And so I want to just touch on each one. Number one, embrace and embody faith, hope, and love. Return to those three root, um, ways that we can connect to the light and the life and the love that we are and that is to really begin to embody an attitude um, of faith, of hope, of love, and to begin what we know of those things, to begin to reclaim those um, and live through them, to connect authentically to our whole self and our soul self. So that's the first momentum action pathway. The second, by the way, momentum action pathway, um, each of these eight can be accessed independently and they work together as a whole and they are a map to bring your dreams to life. In terms, in terms of the dream map system and then the entire uh, 24 life systems are a life map to come to life and live in full expression. So the second, once you've embodied um, faith, hope, and love and begin to really live from that, then identify the dream that you want to bring to life. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. You want to also consider the category of being or the area of your life that this dream is associated with. Maybe it is, you know, uh, relationships um, and uh, connections. Maybe it is home and stability, structure. Maybe it is um, financial um, independence or, um, 
even you know just your 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 financial foundation or your ability to feel abundant you know so whatever that area is try to identify that category and this is going to allow you to um, begin as you have many dreams for your life to begin to group them and to see them as um, as buckets of opportunity and it and then um, as uh, I work with um, groups and, and in the past what we've done is then take those individual buckets and and begin to really break it down into uh, systems, organizations, and structures that support that dream, and and then and then other practices that you can do. So for now, you just want to identify the dream, and then um, the associated um, area of your life or category of being, because um, really this the star systems um, and the dream map system are all about a whole new way of being you in the world, and and a whole new way of moving through the world. It's about forward movement. So once you have embraced faith, hope, and love and identified your dream and its associated category, you want to connect to your heart's deepest desire for this dream to come true. How do you feel? How do you want to feel in this area of your life? Imagine it is real and feel fully everything you know you will experience once the dream has come true. Number four, create an I am statement. I am intention plus action equals manifestation. You have to have both equally. And so this creating a statement that is associated with this dream that you want to come true, um, an I am statement allows you to connect regularly and you begin to use that as a sort of mantra. It's a, it's a statement of affirmation that supports you in creating the extraordinary life experience that you desire. Five, know the root of your desire. So you need to go deeper than just the desire. So maybe the desire is, uh, you know, my, I'll use my, one of mine. My desire is to have, um, you know, a soul-inspiring home and a soulful retreat center surrounded by nature and a lot of land, a lot of space and a studio and et cetera, et cetera. And then I have particular uh, things associated with that dream. So what's the root of that desire? Why am I desiring that experience? That's the question you want to ask yourself. What's the root of your desire? Is it linked to a bigger dream? Will it provide some sort of um, foundation for something else? Is it um, a stepping stone? Does it set you free? Does it um, elevate your life? Why does it matter? So ask why it matters and the root of that desire. Then explore what specific desired outcome would offer evidence of it. So what's going to provide the proof that you're actually on the path to this dream being real? Um, and so you can think the obvious. In my case, it would be, I have the money and or I, I have somebody gives me <laughs> the home and or, you know, it's 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 there. I find it. It's there. I get it. I'm in it. But but beyond that, consider what else would give you the proof of that and maybe tie that back to that feeling and the root of your desire. So really look deep here in terms of <clears throat> your experience and how your experience changing will allow you to know that you have realized this dream for your life. Then look at daily, weekly, and monthly connection practices. So you just want to think about what will support you in your moving toward this dream. Because often that's why the dreams become impossible because we make them impossible because we're not willing to do what is required to elevate, elevate our own lives and to, um, to um, be somewhat um, disciplined in terms of our... Um, actions that we take toward that dream, but equally surrender our attachment to the how. This one is a big challenge for me. I've had to really, and so these daily, weekly, and monthly connection practices really help in that regard. Finally, list 21 action possibilities. The small, these are the small steps. I call them, um, Da daily dares, daring adventures and radiant expansion. Um, and so just every day, one small step you could take. So in my case, I want, I want this, you know, lovely, um, home and a lot of land, what can I do? Mm, I could let people know I'm just kind of uh, looking or I could look online for different properties and make a Pinterest board. Um, or I could say, you know, it seems impossible right now in terms of the money, but what could I do to maybe, um, what could I do to maybe surrender my attachment to the how it is logically supposed to happen and invite spirit to co-create with me. So what are the, all the action possibilities and all the ways action can occur? Because it's not always that masculine driven action. It is sometimes that, um, but is, it is equally the cultivation 
uh, and the nurturing and the feeling of it and the allowing, uh, the allowing of receiving it. So I'm going to stop there because I'm a little short on time today. Lots of love to you and we will be back tomorrow to discuss the vision map system. I'll see you then.